Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture again. In the last lecture, we look about the basic concept of moment and couple. Today, what we are going to do is, we are going to look at two examples wherein we will find out what is the moment in three dimension. So, before that, let me once again define the couple. A couple is the combined moment of two equal opposite and non collinear forces. Okay. The unique effect of a couple is to produce a pure twist or rotation regardless of where the forces are applied. And therefore, couple is a free vector. Okay. We have also seen that the couple is useful. in replacing a force which is acting at a point by a force couple system at a different point. So, again what do we mean by that? Suppose we have a rigid body and a force is acting at point P1 and we want to replace this force at point P2, then we can replace this force at point P2 by having the same force at P1 and then a couple about the point P2. Okay. So, with this now let us look at two examples. So, the problem statement of the question is following, the turnbuckle is tightened until the tension in cable AB is 1.2 kilo Newton. Calculate the magnitude of the moment about O of the force acting on point A. So, in this question, this turnbuckle is tightened. So, the tension will be in this direction. And let us say that i j and k are the unit vector along the x, y and z direction. So, the moment about point O will be r cross t, where this r is any position vector. connecting O to the line of action of T. Okay. So, T the magnitude is given it is 1.2 and its direction will be in the direction T cap which we have to find. So, this T cap will be a b vector divided by 
mode of AB because it is acting in the direction AB. Now, let us see what is AB. AB is OB minus OA and OB is 2.4 I plus 1.5 J minus 1.6 I plus 2 K okay. and this comes out to be 0.8 I plus 1.5 J minus 2 K. Therefore, T cap will be 0.8 I plus 1.5 J minus 2 K divided by the mode of AB. So, it is 0.8 square plus 1.5 square plus minus 2 square. Therefore, T vector will be 1.2 which is the magnitude multiplied by the T cap which is 2.62 into 0.8 i plus 1.5 j minus 2 k kilo Newton. So, now we have T over here we have to find out what is R. Okay. Now, R is in our hand and uh, we can take you know any point uh, as I said which connects O to the line of X and of T. Let us take some convenient R. So, R for example, you can take either O A or O B. Let us first take R equal to O A. So, let me call it R 1 and this is O A. So, O A you can see from the diagram it is 1.6 I plus 2 K. Therefore, the moment M which is R cross T it will be 1.2 divided by 2.62 i j k 1.602.8 minus 2 and this comes out to be 0.457 minus 3 i plus 4.8 j plus 2.4 k kilo Newton meter. Now, the moment of this force about point O will be 0.457 square root minus 3 square plus 4.8 square plus 2.4 square and this comes out to be 2.81 kilo Newton meter. Now, as I said we can also take our position vector as O B. So, let us call this R 2 is equal to O B and I will show you that if you use this R even then you will get the same moment. Okay. So, O B is 1.6 plus 0.8 I plus 1.5 J or this is 2.4 I plus 1.5 J and we already have what is T. So, T was 1.2 divided by 2.62.8 i plus 1.5 j minus 2 k kilo Newton. So, therefore, the moment about O will be R 2 cross T and it is 1.2 divided by 2.62 i j k now, 2.4, 0, 1.5 and minus 2 and again it comes out to be 2.81 kilo Newton meter. So, you see that it is independent of, of R this is what we are keep saying. Now, we have seen that if we have two equal and opposite forces then they form a couple and uh, the direction of couple let us call it m is always normal to the plane which is defined by the two forces. So, therefore, this is the plane and the couple will be normal to the plane.
Now, let us look at the second question and here the problem statement is determine the effective moment of two couple which is shown here. So, uh, to find out the moment, let us choose some convenient point. So, let us calculate the sum of moments of the four forces about an arbitrary point. And let us say we choose point D as our arbitrary point. The moment about D, let us represent it by M D will be. So, first of all these forces will not contribute because they are passing through D. So, we have to calculate the moment of this force and the moment of that force. So, uh, for 30 pound force the moment will be R which is 18 J cross F minus 30 K and for 20 uh, pound force the moment will be R which is 9 J minus 12 K cross minus 20 I and this will be minus 540 I plus 180 K plus 240 j or we can write it as minus 540 i plus 240 j plus 180 k pound inch. Okay. Now, let us choose c as the arbitrary point this time. So, let us say point c is the arbitrary point then the moment about C. So, in this case this force will not contribute because it is passing through C. So, therefore, the 20 pound force this force let us first calculate the moment of this. So, it will be R cross F minus 18 J cross 20 i plus the 30 pound force. So, it is again minus 18 j cross 30 k and then we have this 20 pound force. So, uh, its r is minus 9 j minus 12 k and multiplied by the force minus 20 i. So, again it is 360 k minus 540 i minus 180 k plus 240 j and this is again minus 540 i plus 240 j plus 180 k pound inch. So, you can see here that the moment is independent of whether we calculate it about d or we calculate it about c. Now, why this happens? This happens because in this question you can see that the couples are acting. So, for example, this and this they mix a couple and this and this they mix a couple. So, there are two couples which are acting. So, therefore, uh, you know the moment is independent upon where you are calculating. We can also calculate the moment of this by adding a zero force at point A. So, let us add a 20 pound force at point A. and also a minus 20 pound force. So, basically we have added two force at point A 20 and minus 20. Now, this makes a couple, this makes another couple and these two forces also make a couple. So, there are three couples and let us find out their moments. So, as I said 30 pound and minus 30 pound 
will result in a couple along the x axis. Why is that? Because we have these two forces and let us connect them, then this is the plane and uh, the moment will be perpendicular to this plane. Okay. So, therefore, it will act in the x direction. So, the moment is one of the forces multiplied by the distance. So, minus 30 multiplied by 18 and this is minus 540 pound inch. Similarly, we have this 20 pound force which will give you the moment along the y direction. So, m y will be 20 cross 12, this will be 240 pound inch and m z will be 20 multiplied by 9 that will be 180 pound inch. So, we can write down the moment as minus 540 i plus 240 j plus 180 k pound inch. So, again we got the same answer. So, by three different method we have find out the moment and you know as expected it comes out to be the same. Now, let me stop here and uh, let us meet in the next class. Thank you.